My name is Tanisa Johnson Campbell. Um, I am 52 years old and I currently live here in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, my family includes my husband, George, and my son, Jordan, who is 14. He has cerebral palsy. So that in itself is a full-time job. So two years ago, I found out that I had multiple myeloma. When I first got this diagnosis, I just decided right then and there that, you know, it was what it was, that I would not spend the rest of my life worrying about it, um, but that I would make every day count, put my best foot forward, follow my treatments, because I still have a life to live. Again, I'm still a mother, I'm still a wife, so, and I'm still here. Dr. Cooper and his staff are great. Um, Jackie and Alyssa, Kathy, they're all very, very, great people like they they're there to help you they explain stuff to you along the way if you have any questions or doubts or fear or confusion they're they put you at ease you just ask and if they don't know they definitely find out for you um dr cooper is a ham he's been the best doctor ever since the very beginning like <laughs> dr cooper is a journey of his own <laughs> he's a good doctor um They've made this process so much easier for me. So the CAR T cell was probably my third treatment. I had two prior to that. So he told me about that. He said, you're like a great person um, for this. Your candidacy is like right where it needs to be in order for you to get accepted into this program. He's like, I referred you. And I'm like, of course you did, Dr. Cooper. Um, and then he explained what it would do and how you know we would monitor it for research and so basically again this was my third treatment and of all the treatments so far it is working the best for anyone who has cancer i would say again just decide right then and there that that's not the end of the your your world it's it's what you make of it it's how you take that news and transform it into okay where do i go from here follow all of your treatments. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. As far as the CAR T-cell infusion, anyone looking to do that, I would definitely say go for it. If you set your mind to, this needs to be done, I have to do it in order to do what I want with the rest of my life, which is, again, I'm a mother of a disabled child. So if nothing else, I have to be here for him. So that means I have to be here for me first. So I need to be healthy. I need to strive to do better constantly. Um, I look forward to everything. I look forward to watching him graduate. I look forward to, you know, purchasing my next home. I look forward to a lifelong marriage with my husband. Like, I look forward to everything as if I was never told I had cancer.